How much fun is Caitlin Clark to watch seeing the highest career scoring average against top 10 teams since the 99-2000 season and the Iowa Stars averaging 29 against such opponents and she'll have an opportunity tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern time when Iowa takes on Big Ten regular season champion Indiana. It's going to be a great showdown. They've already played once and a chance for Iowa to even the score this time as Caitlin Clark joins us. And Caitlin, this game's been sold out in Carver Hawkeye for a couple of weeks. What do you expect the atmosphere to be like when you guys take on Indiana tomorrow? It's going to be incredible. Um, you know, I think we have the best fans in the country, 15,000 strong. And like you said, it's been sold out for almost like I think three weeks now. So Hawk fans are really excited about this one. They've had it circled on their calendar for a while. Women's college game day will be in Iowa City at 11 a.m. Eastern time on Sunday. Caitlin, you're used to notoriety. Uh, you, you've been a celebrity around there. People started paying attention to you when you were in middle school. What's the most unusual thing that's happened to you that sort of played on your celebrity and being recognized? Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. It's tough. I think, you know, the big thing for me is, like, the reason I came here was because I wanted to stay home. Um, you know, I love getting to play for my home state. The people here, like, this is their pro sports. Iowa women's basketball is treated like a pro sport here. I think you can tell that with the 15,000 people that come out and support us. So, um, you know, more than anything, I love just getting to interact with our fans and getting to see them um, in the community because, you know, they know the game so well and they love women's basketball. And, you know, I think it's just good for our game. You've got great range. What do you consider the outer limits of your range? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it keeps kind of getting further and further back, but I think, you know, it kind of has come with, you know, being able to be in the, in the weight room, getting stronger, getting faster. Um, it's kind of something I've added to my game um, since I got in college. It wasn't something I've always been able to do. So, um, you know, I think the bigger, stronger, faster thing has been a priority for me, especially this past summer. But, um, you know, when, I, when I'm coming off the dribble and it, and it seems like a good shot to me and I have confidence that it's going in, um, and I'm lucky to play for a coach that, you know, gives me the green light. And, you know, sometimes she likes them, sometimes she doesn't. But I think, you know, knowing when and where to take them is also, you know, something you got to know as well. They had 35 and 10 assists in that first matchup against Indiana. What adjustments do you guys need to make to be able to knock off this outstanding Hoosiers team? Yeah, like you said, they're really good. And I think, you know, Mackenzie Holmes, a tremendous player, has had an incredible year. Um, and I think a lot of that's because they've been able to shoot the ball so well. You know, they have four people that can really space it out on the perimeter. So, you know, you can't provide as much help on a post player, and she gets to play a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but, you know, they're just, they're just really fundamentally sound. Uh, really great help defense. But I, f I didn't feel like we played our best when we played there, and we were still really close. So, you know, just cleaning a few things up, taking care of the ball, um, getting a few b uh, some better shots on offense, I think will certainly help us. And, you know, having 15,000 people that have your back uh, should kind of play to your advantage, too. I know you're a huge sports fan. Congratulations are in order to your Chiefs, I understand. Oh, yeah. If you could be oh, on yeah. any stage and play, on, and play any other sport on any other stage aside from basketball, mm -hmm. what would it be? Oh, that's a good question. Honestly, I'd probably either go tennis or golf. Um, I'm a big golf person. I love watching PGA, LPGA, um, but also tennis. Like, I'm a huge Serena Williams fan. She's been, like, my favorite athlete, you know, across the board. Not only a great athlete, but an even better person. So I've always loved getting to watch her growing up. So I'd probably go tennis or golf. If you went golf, I bet you'd win the long drive because range seems to be your deal. Caitlin, good luck tomorrow against Indiana, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thanks so much for being with us. Always great yeah. to see you. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.